Apparently, Jim Acosta doesn't like being called the enemy of the people. Perhaps that label is slightly hyperbolic, but it's hard to deny that the media regularly lies, divides, and incites for the purposes of advancing a partisan political agenda. With those sorts of practices at play, I really don't think that they have the best interest of the people in mind. When CNN and the rest of the media constantly frame opposition to the left as racist, Nazis, and fascists, racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic. They're attempting to end debate and demonizing half the country as inhuman monsters. Are we supposed to treat that behavior as if it's a gesture of friendship? Jim Acosta and Brian Stelter are excellent examples of this hypocrisy that proselytizes about the sanctity of journalism while carrying out this role as the Democrat Party propagandists, discrediting opposition while promoting the DNC agenda. Both of these guys are in the business of molding alternate reality bubbles in service of the Democrat Party. I mean, just look at the title of Acosta's book, Dangerous Time to Tell the Truth. It's not at all or the least bit dangerous for Acosta to say whatever the hell he wants to. He's part of the mainstream establishment. It is, on the other hand, dangerous for people like me since we can be attacked, deplatformed, demonetized, and doxxed simply for speaking the truth. Both of these so-called journalists have had a hand in the censorship of conservatives and right-leaning YouTubers, which is why I want to tell you about this channel's new sponsor, RibT.com. Rib Tea underwear is made right here in the USA and as you can see they are supporters of free speech on all the social media platforms and right here on YouTube. Their cool nylon silk underwear is wedgie free and so comfortable you'll feel like you're going commando. Which is great for keeping me sane while I watch the media so you don't have to. If you need some new underwear make sure to take advantage of their 20% off most items limited time offer using the promo code DRONETECH. You can find a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you. But we're now comfortable from here on out uh, saying that the press is the enemy of the people. And to our friends in conservative media, Anderson, I say this, it is no guarantee that you get to stay in power forever. And so another administration could come in right. and do the very same thing to them and say, well, Donald Trump did it. Guess what? We're going to do it to you guys. Too. You see what I mean about alternate realities? What Jim Acosta is doing here is rewriting history to cast leftist hacks like him as the victim when, in fact, Fox News was the target of constant attacks during the Obama administration. Why was Fox constantly attacked? Because they were the only TV news network at the time that wasn't a propaganda outlet for the Obama administration. When critics went after Obama, the media would circle the wagons around him and attempt to discredit that critic. What is this supposed to mean? What What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he's a fascist. The pirates... Wait, why do you say he's pirates? a fascist? He's the president of the United States. He's a fascist. Do you, do, you realize how, do you realize how offensive that is? I think As I've recounted many times before, the Obama administration literally said that they were at war with Fox News, and they treated Fox News as if it was somehow outside of the mainstream. The rest of the media was happy, of course, to play along. After all, Fox was their ideological and business competitors. What there was... And I will just quote the Obama White House. Mm -hmm. There was a war with the news network that I work for, right. Fox. They had this sort of arm's length relationship to Fox and tried to demonize it on a daily basis. Acosta is full of shit and trying to rewrite history because no doubt when Democrats do get back in power, they will resume the demonization of the one network that will hold that president to account. Of course, back then, the media defended Obama and called his attacks on Fox News justified. Just like this Newsweek article on the topic claims, quote, There are several key distinctions between then and now. Fox News commentators in particular, Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, and Bill O'Reilly, frequently maligned Obama and misrepresented his views, often in ways that seemed racially charged. On the converse, Obama didn't tweet out doctored pro wrestling gifts or obsessively rail about fake news and ratings. This is classic left-wing rationalization and mental gymnastics to convince themselves that it's always different when they do it. Someone should inform the writer of this horrible piece that the media has been misrepresenting Trump's views since before he was elected. They've also tweeted out doctored footage of Trump on more than one occasion, which I've pretty thoroughly documented at this point. Some of them absorb this hostility and then lash out at us in ways that make us feel endangered. Oh, really? Because that's exactly how I would describe CNN. Your broadcast is nonstop demonization of your political opposition. You support and promote communist terrorist groups that openly use violence to shut down speech they don't like. 
On the other hand, Acosta is a public figure who can and should be criticized, if not only for the hypocrisy and brazen double standards that he displays. I wonder if any of those private citizens that you doxxed are feeling like they're in danger. At least one of them, a little old lady, had to pick up and move because CNN saw fit to harass her over her support for Trump. Ann Conway, her husband George Conway continues to say the president is mentally unwell, unfit. Take a look at his latest tweets from today saying the president should resign and seek psychological treatment. And don't you just love how it's perfectly acceptable for CNN and MSNBC to constantly claim that Trump is mentally ill, yet post a video of Hillary Clinton falling and coughing everywhere she goes and you're an alt-right extremist according to CNN. What is it with these people and accusing everyone else of what they're actively doing? It's just more of this alternate reality creation that I think is meant for their hardcore Democrat view. Viewers. That's all I got for you today, folks. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.